Hello, everyone. Welcome to Vancouver Virtually. My name is Hang Ma. I am an assistant professor here at Simon Fraser University. It is a great pleasure for me to tell you about our recent research progress on using intelligent planning techniques for large-scale multi-agent systems. So let's first look at our recent Blue Sky project um, jointly with NASA's AIMS, where we are looking at deploying hundreds of autonomous aircraft towing vehicles in the near future at the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Here, after an airplane has landed on the runway, we need to assign the airplane to an autonomous vehicle to tow the airplane all the way from its runway to, the, uh, to its assigned terminal gate, and vice versa from the gate to the uh, runways for takeoff. So as to reduce the pollution um, produced by the airplane engine and energy consumption, human workload, traffic congestion on the airport surface, and eventually to reduce the size of the airport while still keeping the same throughput of the airport. Even humans can make bad decisions from time to time. How can the system make intelligent decisions for these teams of agents? I will talk about AI planning and search techniques that are inspired by the multi-agent coordination problems that arise in such large-scale multi-agent systems. But before that, let's look at one such multi-agent system that is already running today. That's the automated fulfillment centers by logistic companies such as Amazon and Alibaba. Imagine if you order a teddy bear online, the system will send a robot to move the shelf that contains the teddy bear all the way from its storage location to the packing station that needs the teddy bear. The human worker at the packing station will just pack the teddy bear with other products in the order and then ship them together. This so-called goods-to-person fulfillment model can significantly increase the throughput of the system while reducing the workload and safety hazard of the human workers, since the workers now only need to stay or even sit in the packing stations and wait for their goods to come. In this talk, I will tell you about how the planning and search techniques we've developed can be used to tackle some of the fundamental issues in the system where hundreds of robots need to be tasked to deliver shelves and navigate safely through the narrow corridors and busy traffic in the warehouse. Um, in this direction, I would like to highlight one of our joint projects with uh, China, a logistic company within Alibaba Group where we develop planning techniques for an automated sortation center that has contributed to a new one day sales record of over 30 billion US dollars during the single stay online shopping festival in 2018. That also dealt with the resulting over 1 billion express parcels that were then shipped throughout China within one week. Here, a human worker or a scanning machine will scan the delivery address of a parcel and put it onto a robot. The delivery address would be also input to the robot, telling the robot which sorting bin on the floor it should deliver the parcel to. Each sorting bin is associated with a certain postal code. It's required that in seconds of computation time, the system needs to make decisions for hundreds of robots about um, from which station the robots should obtain a parcel for delivery and on which route the robot should navigate to the sorting station and then to the sorting bin. I will also talk about um, how we use planning and search techniques for uh, to develop a software that recently won the Neural Rips 20 Flatland Challenge, a railway scheduling competition that was held in partnership with German and Swiss railway companies that have attracted more than 700 participants from over 50 countries. We won the competition using planning and search only that can scale to um, 3000 chains and also outperform all reinforcement learning based approaches. And we are also looking at tackling the multi-agent coordination problems that arise in many other real world multi-robot systems including um, automatic grocery packing system, um, automatic parking system, and automatic port, which can, um, in our 
in our opinion, be tackled with uh, AI planning and search techniques also. Given the current state of AI, how do we direct its research towards solving these applications of uh, large-scale multi-agent systems? Um, in viewing these applications as multi-agent planning problems, there's a key research question that cut across all of them, um, namely how to make fast and good decisions. Um, here, by fast decisions, I mean uh, I'm referring to efficiency of the algorithms, namely fast computation time and large number of agents with a given within a given computation time. And good decisions are uh, I'm referring to performance measures such as uh, effectiveness. Uh, that means high throughput of the system and low operating costs of the system. For example, few robots is, uh, are needed for a given throughput um, if we have high effectiveness. And robustness, that means um, no collisions should happen between robots and no deadlocks should happen if we run the system for a long period of time. And first, let's look at past planning. When AI people look at the warehouses and the airports, they say that the problem is to just to decomfort the agents while the agents are navigating. So we model this problem as multi-agent pathfinding or MAPF in short. So throughout this talk, I will use MAPF. And the problem is just to find collision-free paths for multiple agents from their given start locations to their given goal locations. So we use a discrete model where um, each agent can either stay at its current vertex or moves to a neighboring vertex on a given graph at each time, at each uh, discrete time step. Um, we aim to minimize some objective function, for example, mix spam, which is the maximum maximum of the arrival times uh, arrival times of the agents at goal vertices, or flow time, which is the sum of the arrival time steps. And we don't want, we need to avoid collisions. And vertex collisions where two agents attempt to occupy the same vertex at the same time step. And also edge collisions where two agents uh, attempt to move along the edge, move along the same edge in opposite direction at the same time step. Why is this uh, problem so interesting or exciting? Many logistic companies actually uh, plan paths for single agents individually because we can solve single agent path finding problems well. And then they adjust the speed of the agents to avoid collisions during execution. While this works in most of the scenarios, um, it doesn't work in all cases. For example, here we have two agents. Um, agent one wants to get to here and agent two needs to get to here. And what happens if we plan paths for them individually? They will follow their individually optimal path. Uh, for example, um, here until agent two arrives at its goal vertex and there's actually no way for agent one to get to its goal vertex. So that means in this scenario, agents have to coordinate and we have to plan paths for the two agents jointly. So for example, what we want is that agent two move into the alcohol way to let agent one pass. And both agents can arrive at the goal vertices safely without collisions. So when we look at this um, problem, the first question we ask is um, how hard is it to plan pass for multiple agents and how hard is it to solve map path? Um, there are existing MP hardness results showing that um, it is MP hard to optimize the mix band and also optimize the flow time for MAPF. We've contributed a new result showing that um, MAPF is MP hard to approximate even within uh, any factor less than four thirds for mix band minimization. So MAPF is hard, but we still want to come up with algorithms uh, that can provide very really good solution quality. So um, in AI, we always solve MP hard problems. So the complexity itself uh, doesn't scare us away. So I will give you one example. Um, it's an approach developed from uh, an Israeli research group, not from us, uh, but uh, back in 2012. It's called conflict-based search or CBS in short. 
uh, which is one of the state-of-the-art MAPAT algorithms and also complete and optimal for MAPAT. So CV is, CVS is a two-level algorithm. It plans paths for single agents on the low level and it performs a best first search on a binary tree on a high level to resolve collisions uh, in the computed paths um, returned by the low level systematically. And since it's a best first search, then CPS always expands the node with the smallest mix band. And whenever CPS expands a node, it resolves a conflict uh, condition and generate two child nodes that correspond to two options of uh, uh, resolving the conflicts. And then until it tries to expand a node without any collisions in, um, in its path, then it returns the optimal solution. Um, we have also made several scientific contributions on this topic, namely to scale up the optimal MAPF algorithm uh, based on CBS. So um, think about CBS, it's a best first search, just like um, Dijkstra algorithm or uniform course search. Um, so that means we can add admissible heuristic guidance for its uh, high level search. So if we do so, we can um, scale CBS up and we can speed up CBS by up to uh, 50 times. And on top of that, if we do um, symmetric reasoning um, for the search and then we break the symmetry, um, the key idea is to add multiple constraints at a time to its uh, high level search nodes, but still keeping its um, completeness and optimality guarantee. So if we do so, we can further um, speed up CBS. And the other way to speed up is that we uh, look at solution spaces uh, uh, under the two subtrees of a node. If we want uh, uh, if we want the spaces to be disjoint, then we can develop a better way of expanding the nodes. So that further speeds up CBS as well. As you can see in the result, we are talking about um, planning paths for 100 agents optimally in a few minutes. And also in practice, we want um, even faster algorithm. So here we've contributed uh, an anytime bounded suboptimal sub map path algorithm, which is also complete and keeps a suboptimality bound that, um, that is improving over, over time. And also we can stop at any time and then get a solution. Also, we've contributed new results on prioritized planning, uh, namely just planning paths for agents according uh, one at a time, according to a given priority order of the agents. So we proved that theoretically, um, this is not optimal um, even for any given order of the agents. Um, but it is complete for well-formed instances uh, where agents can sit in a parking location without blocking other agents, uh, which is true for warehouses and uh, railway scheduling scenarios. And also we've contributed a new algorithm called prioritized based search or PBS in short, which combines um, the simple prioritized planning with the greedy depth first search version of CBS that searches in the space of all possible ordering of agents, uh, which also produces um, close to optimal uh, solution quality empirically. So I'm talking about uh, less than 5% uh, of optimality in reality. And on average for 100 agents, it requires only 0.14 seconds of runtime. And for 600 agents, it requires only half a minute of runtime. We are also looking at um, different applications of MAPAP. So here we are looking at um, agents that have shapes and or volume. So we translate this into a new model where each agent can occupy more than one vertex. And we also generalize the vertex um, and edge conditions to the way to do that is we pre-compute the condition set for each vertex and for each edge. And then we've contributed a new algorithm that is based on CBS 
um, by adding multiple constraints at a time, but still keeping the completeness and optimality guarantees of CBS. So an idea very similar to the symmetric breaking reasoning for CBS we've talked about earlier. The other application we have been looking at is uh, multi-agent navigation tasks for uh, robots and video game characters, uh, where the agents try to um, keep a uh, design formation. So here we are asked to balance between minimizing the mixed band and the cost of uh, deviating from the desired formation. And we've contributed a new approach that combines swarm-based approach from the robotics community uh, for example, the leader follower approach and also CBS. So as shown in the demo, the agents can um, keep the formation while they navigate through open spaces and also congest the areas in the environment. So I want to highlight that MapHab itself is a fast growing area of research. And we are also part of the MapHab research community um, together with researchers and groups from all over the world. In the past few years, we can also see many, many papers on MapHab published per year at each of the major AI conferences. And so far, we have organized several workshops, tutorials on major conferences and publish introductory papers that target general audience. We have also maintained a web page, um, maphav.info, that you can refer to uh, for more information on MapHav. So given a MapHav plan, um, how can the agents execute the plan safely in the real world? Um, here we are looking at challenges uh, such as robots are not completely synchronized during execution and they do not move exactly at the nominal speed and they have a model kinematic constraints uh, uh, that are not considered during the planning. So during planning we are actually using models that are not completely accurate. So we first look at one type of such uh, system dynamics here where agents can be delayed during um, execution. For example, um, agent one is moving along the path A, B, C, D, and then agent two is moving along the path um, B, C, um, F, C. So uh, there might be a, an uncertain delay here when say agent two moves from C to F. So given such map have plan, we translate the plan into a total order um, on locations visited by the agents uh, where we can actually visualize this as a directed graph where each edge represents a precedent constraint. For example, a constraint that um, agent two has to visit uh, location C before agent one visit location C. So the insight we get is that um, during execution, we need to keep the order in which two different agents arrive at the same location as specified by the map have plan. So for example, here, um, we need to make sure that agent two leaves um, location C before um, agent, agent one actually enters location C. So we need to keep this order and we develop a new algorithm called minimal communication policies for execution, which allows for decentralized and robust, namely a collision-free plan execution of the agents. And also it attempts to reduce the communica communication costs uh, between the agents by calculating a transitive um, reduction for this directed graph. So the key idea is to reduce the number of edges between different agents uh, that are not necessary. So with this knowledge in mind, um, we actually entered the Neural Rift 20 Flatland Challenge, which is also a map have problem with uncertain delays. Um, and also it's a well-formed instances, namely uh, chains are not on the graph before they depart from the stations and after they arrive in uh, stations. We won the competition using planning and search only. Um, the key idea is to use prioritized planning, which is very fast, and use large neighborhood search, which is a local search method to improve the map plan. 
And once we have a plan, we can use our minimal com uh, communication policies during execution to avoid uh, collisions during execution, even under uncertainties. And then we allow partial replanning for agents that are affected by delays. One insight we get from the competition is that um, for the competition, it's more important to make fast decisions than uh, making perfect decisions. We further extend the idea of dealing with delay uncertainty to handling other system dynamics that have not been considered in our uh, past planning phase. So the key idea is to make use of a simple temporal network or STM to post-process a map plan, which can be calculated very fast in polynomial time. Um, this STM takes into account edge lengths and velocity limits and also guarantees a safety distance among robots and can avoid replanning in many cases. So the key idea is similar to the uh, delay uncertainty um, to MCP, where we, did, uh, we just construct a directed graph, but also we associate time bounds to this directed graph. For example, the lower bound showing here, uh, we can actually get it by the safety distance that we need to maintain divided by the velocity, the maximum velocity limit of the agents. And also with that knowledge in mind, we develop a plan generation and execution framework. The key idea is to first solve a hard problem, for example, run CPS to find a good map plan. And then we construct an STM for the plan and then come up with the um, execution times for the agents and the agents will just follow um, follow the execution times and un until they deviate from the plan. So instead of replanning, we can actually go back to step two where we just need to solve a new STM which is very fast in polynomial time and then determine the speed and then the times for the robots for execution. And only if we cannot solve the STM meaning that the deviation is very last, uh, very, very big. Then we have to go back to the first step and we need to solve an MP hard problem again. We actually demonstrate this framework using uh, real robots. And here we have up to five iRobot create two. And then you can see that robots can execute the plan safely, uh, even with some motion noises that are not modeled. Also, we've observed that in some scenario, planning pass is not sufficient um, and agents need to decide which destination they need to go. So for example, we are looking at different teams of agents here in the warehouse where we have first team on the agents that are moving to the storage locations. The task is to assign empty storage locations to the agents, also plan pass for them to get to the uh, storage locations. And meanwhile, there are agents that are moving to uh, each of the packet station, for example, packet station one. Um, and it doesn't really matter uh, which agents get to packet station one first, um, as long as all the agents um, get to packet station one. And it, that means it doesn't really matter um, like the, the, in which order, the order in which they arrive at packet station. So the placing into the incoming queue of packet station one actually doesn't matter. So we model this idea um, as target assignment and pass finding problem or TAPF, uh, where each team is given as many goal locations uh, called targets as there are agents in the team as long as one agent moves to one target given to its team and each target is visited by one agent at the end of the same team, then we are happy. So the goal is to assign uh, targets to and plan pass for the agents so that the overall mix band is minimized. Um, of course, agents cannot be assigned targets are given to other teams. So we uh, contributed a new theoretical results showing that um, TAPF with more than one team of agents is MP hard to approximate within any factor less than four thirds for mixed man minimization. And also we've contributed a new um, TAPF algorithm uh, which combines CBS that 
to coordinate different teams of agents and also use a mean cost Maxwell algorithm for solving the problem for each team of agents. And this algorithm can compute an optimal solution for over 40, 400 agents in one minute. And we also demonstrate this algorithm together with the post processing step we have for um, MapF post for a formation control problem um, for multi robot system. So, as you can see here, uh, we have two teams of robots, and each team has four robots. And the robots can arrive at their uh, goal locations without colliding with each other even with uh, a model motion um, motion noise and also dynamic constraints that are not considered in our model. And we are also looking at another challenge, namely agents need to be retasked after they arrive at the targets or uh, at their goal vertices. Um, that means agents need to be assigned new tasks after they finish their current ones in many uh, applications of multi-agent systems. And agent needs to decide which task to execute next. And also they could not block each other from executing new tasks. So here we model this problem as multi-agent pickup and delivery or MAPD in short, which you can view it as a lifelong generalization of the one shot um, task and pass pending problems, uh, such as MapPath and PepPath, where a task might enter the system at any time and agents have to constantly attend to a stream of new tasks. And we model each task to be um, a pickup location and a delivery location, and the agent needs to find a path uh, to the pickup location first and then to the delivery location. And we've contributed two categories of algorithms um, decoupled, where we assign a task to and plan a pass for one agent at a time. And it has good scalability and can be extended to a fully distributed setting in reality. And centralized algorithms where they assign tasks to and plan pass for multiple agents at a time. And it has good solution quality, but it's slower than uh, the decoupled algorithm. So uh, we guarantee that for all algorithm, um, all tasks, uh, finitely many tasks can be executed in a finite time. And also um, for different algorithms, we can trade off between better solutions and faster runtime. So for the two categories of algorithms, um, decoupled has the potential for real-time computation, but not quite yet. So here we improve the couple by using the novel um, advanced data structure um, that allows efficient operations, for example, collision checking and inserting and deleting paths um, that is required in an online setting. And as a side benefit, it can also take into account kinematic constraints directly during planning uh, compared to using a post-processing step, a post-processing approach such as MapPath post. As you can see here, all the robots can follow their path um, safely. Also, we further tested the algorithm using 2,000 tasks and up to um, 250 agents. And as you can see, to compute a plan here, it requires only less than 10 seconds of runtime. So that's about 30 minutes of operating time of uh, 200 agents for uh, 30 minutes. So that's much, much more efficient and effective than using a discrete MAPD algorithm plus using a MAPF post per, for post-processing the, 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 the computer plan. Also in scenario where the information of the future tasks are known, we can optimize the order in which we uh, the agents execute the tasks. So we formalize this problem as a special version of TSP and come up with the TSP tool, traveling salesman tool with small mix map. And then we use our uh, map the algorithms to actually assign the tools to the agents and also plan paths for the agents. So this results in a family of improved centralized um, offline MAPD algorithms where we utilize the task scheduling with the knowledge of future tasks 
and can produce solutions quality that are higher than uh, online algorithms. And also we, um, if we do the task assignment and task planning jointly as we've done for TAPF, and we can make the algorithm even more efficient. So we apply this idea of our online MAPD to the sortation center, um, which is also a version of MAPD, but to optimize the idle time of stations. Um, we tested our algorithm in an industrial simulator using real world data. So as you can see here, we can um, scale to over 300 agents in two seconds of runtime. And then we improve the throughput of the existing system by up to 12%. And to summarize, we have contributed an algorithmic framework for coordinating long-term task and path planning operations to address a series of challenges arising in large scale market agent systems. For our ongoing research, we are trying to develop a deeper theoretical understanding for long-term task and path planning. And we are looking to apply our algorithms to systems with high order dynamics. With that, I would like to conclude the talk by thanking my collaborators, um, Sven Kornick, um, Nora Ayanian, Daniel Haribur and Peter Starkey and Ariel Fellner, Craig Tove, and Alibaba's China AI team, and also many, many other MapPath researchers. And that's it. Thank you for listening to my talk.